Hey everybody, it's Dustin Bradley here with Bradley Brothers. Today we're in Chandler, Arizona. We're going to take a look at this four bedroom, three bath home. It's 2,517 square feet all on one level. It has a three car garage. It also has a pool, spa, and a putting green for all you golfers. It was built in 1997. The lot is 9,235 square feet. It was listed at 825,000 as of 40 days ago. It's been reduced to 799,900, so just under 800,000. It's a great neighborhood. as you walk in you're gonna have a few choices you can go straight into the formal living room with huge vaulted ceilings you can go right or we can go to the primary suite over here off to the left let's start there so we have carpet in here tall vaulted ceilings we do have a door to the pool and spa which I think is the best. You have no neighbors directly behind you. And then the, the primary suite, as you can see, has this bonus area over here. So you could set up an office or crib, you know, the uh, choices are limitless. Here we go in the primary bathroom. You have the same tile that you have in the entryway. It's always cool when you have a uh, walk-in closet with uh, windows. You don't see that every day. So you get some nice, you know, natural light in here. If you're new to Arizona, Chandler is one of the top cities I'd say in the Valley right now. You know, you got Scottsdale, which everyone's heard of, and then Gilbert and Chandler, I would say are right underneath that for, schools, sports, quality of life. The downtown area in Chandler is really uh, growing and booming and there's some great restaurants down there. Okay, so there's the front door. This area right here is gonna be where you're gonna set up your uh, formal uh, dining room or your dining room, I should say. And we have the laundry room. Here's the three car garage. The house is vacant. They just looks like they have a few things left. So you can see that Jeep fits easily. Here is bathroom number two. Bedroom number two, great tall ceilings. I'm not sure about the color. When I was like in junior high, you know, this will date me, but uh, Shaquille O'Neal was just coming to the Orlando Magic and I painted my bedroom like a crazy blue like that. Here is bedroom number three. Okay, so dining room, front door, Primary bedroom, formal living room right over there. And then now we are gonna go over here. So now we're in the kitchen and family room. Looks like these are probably Corian countertops. Really, the cabinets are in great shape. Appliances look great. The fridge does have some dings in it. 
We got a gas stove, tiled backsplash. Feels really clean. And it looks like we have a gas fireplace. A couple skylights that look like have been possibly painted. Here is bathroom number three. This room's nice because it's right off the living room, so this would make a great teenager suite or guest room. And then it looks like maybe the AC doesn't get this room as well, so they put in a mini split just to AC this room a little more, most likely. I wonder... I always find it so interesting of how people live and how they lay out their homes. So what do you think? Where would you put your TV since there is a window right above the fireplace? Hmm, looks like maybe is this white thing? Do they put their TV kind of covering the window? No. Maybe you'd put it on that wall. Hmm. I don't know, you'd have to figure that out. Let's check out the backyard. This is why we moved to Arizona. So we have a really tall covered patio that's super vaulted. Feels very open, very uh, spacious, I should say. They extended the patio with these pavers. This goes into the primary suite. Got this sun sail for a little more shade. And then here is the pool. The pool looks like it's in great shape. Yeah, I really like the pool. The hot tub kind of sits up a little higher. The tile on there also looks like it's in great shape. Here we have the putting green, turf, this is nice. I really appreciate how there's no neighbors behind you. There's just a bunch of fruit trees. Here's your two AC units. Paint looks like it's in great shape. And then uh, your pool equipment as well as your uh, hot tub heater. What's cool here in Arizona with a lot of pools is even if the pool's not technically heated, you can overrun the bottle, uh, sorry, the hot tub water into the pool and recirculate it and heat the pool if you wanted to. I'm not for sure if this home has that ability, but it looks like it does overflow right into the pool. It's not something you would do over the time. It's going to be kind of spendy, but uh, it's kind of fun to do once in a while. I actually did it on accident many years ago when I first moved here. I woke up uh, around Christmas time and our pool was steaming because it gets pretty cold in the, in the winter here. And the hot tub was so hot, it was steaming. So it was pretty hilarious. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed the content today. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do that. Hit that subscribe button. And if you need help buying or selling here in Arizona, let us know. Our contact information will be down in the description as well as a link to this listing. And we'd love to help you buy or sell your next property here. Have a great day and uh, thanks for watching.